Hey, this is Les from Power Up Training. And today's question is, how do I turn a PowerPoint presentation into picture or image files? In the next few minutes, we're going to discuss three things. One, how to save a PowerPoint slide as a single image. Two, how to save the collection of slides into multiple images. And then three, we'll discuss some of the differences between saving it as a JPEG or a PNG or a TIF file. So let's go power up. Here we go. I'm starting in slide sorter view mode so that we can see the whole slideshow, but this will work from any view. Also, I'm using an existing YouTube slideshow that you can view on our channel. It is a great example because it has almost 30 slides. For this to work, your presentation needs to be saved at least once as a PowerPoint file. To save slides as an image, we go to File, on the ribbon menu, and then we select Save a Copy or Save As. Why the two choices? This tutorial was based on the latest Office 365 version of PowerPoint, but if you're running an older version, say PowerPoint 2013, then it's Save As. Everything else will be the same. Click on the down arrow next to the file type of PowerPoint presentation. There's lots of different formats to export to, but we're focusing on image options and we'll begin with JPEG. We're going to give it a new name and then we're going to save. And we're now faced with choices, all slides or just this one. This tutorial will show both choices. So let's start with just this one and save a single picture slide based on the original slide selected before we started the save process. Since we did not change the file folder location, PowerPoint will save in the same folder as the original presentation. And while I did change the file name, I didn't have to as we're using the .jpg file extension. So our original PowerPoint presentation will never be overwritten. In my file manager, while I click on the .jpg file, I get a preview of it as a full slide of what the image looks like. Let's do it again, but this time we want to convert all the slides to images. So on the ribbon menu, I select File and then Save As. I will next choose a new file type and select JPEG again. We'll also change the name, which is not necessary, but helpful for this tutorial to keep track of each version. Save, and this time we will choose all slides compared to the last time of just this one. Once PowerPoint finishes generating all the individual images, it will pop up a confirmation that the action was completed and where the files are stored. Let's go take a look. Unlike the single image choice that stores the file, in the same file directory, PowerPoint creates a new folder based on the file name and then wraps all the new images in that subfolder. And then PowerPoint gives each file a generic name of slide and a slide number. In our case, 29 slides, 29 individual JPEGs. Okay, let's do this a third time, but now explore the different types of image files that can be created. Once again, File and Save a Copy and the drop down list. JPEG is the most common image file format, but there are some issues. While it is compact in file size, it does accomplish this by reducing some image quality. And PowerPoint gives you no control over this. As you see, there are a half a dozen image file types, but my favorite is the .png image type. PNGs are easily viewable by almost any program, and it does not lose image quality like the .jpg, but it typically is not much larger in storage space. So that we can compare, I will save one slide in .png. The higher quality .png is about double the size of the JPEG, but I find it worthwhile. The ultimate in full fidelity of quality is the .tiff file or .tiff. Let me quickly run through that scenario with the same steps and then we can compare the file size. 
In the end, this specific slide in .tif format is three times the size of JPEG, but I find the quality of it is not much better than .png for most electronic uses. See, it was that easy to be able to convert PowerPoint slides into image files. If this was helpful, then do subscribe to our YouTube channel here at PowerUp.Training. You would be surprised how subscriptions helps encourage me to make more free training videos for you. If this was helpful, go ahead and like it and leave comments below, including other PowerPoint training tutorials that you'd like for me to make for you for free. And if you want to see all that we have, do visit our website of power-up.training for a complete PowerPoint school. Until next time, go power up.